Coach, whenever you're ready, if you want to start with an opening statement, then we'll open for questions. Yeah. Uh, I thought that uh, I was very uh, pleased with how my squad responded after a disappointing loss in Athens. They um, said <clears throat> so we just played a team that potentially could be in the Final Four, and I thought that we gave them the, our best punch, you know, and uh, wish a couple things could have gone better in the third quarter, but when you play in a team like that, you have to have a your best game, and uh, you probably with no mistakes, and uh, we weren't able to do that uh, <clears throat> when we needed to. Uh, overall, you know, I thought we did our university proud. I mean, no, I'm not using it as a, um, what you call it, those, uh, the wins that make you feel good, like it wasn't a win, we still lost. Moral the moral victory, there you go. The moral <laughs> victory, it's not that, it's just the step in the right direction, you know. Um, I remember when Vic was in year one, so uh, the fact that we were able to do that today uh, gives us something to build on. To be able to come out as physical as you guys did, it seems like that was pretty present in the game plan. Mm -hmm. What did you see about this team that made you want to come out and attack the way you did? I mean, just pride, I think. Uh, I said this in Starkville and I meant it. I think a rivalry is not about hate, it's about your love for your university, and it's about pride. And um, <clears throat> I've been a part of many rivalries before, and I just believe that the, the records doesn't matter. You know, someone comes in your gym to compete, um, you gotta give them a game. And, and right before the game, I changed our defense, and I decided to go man. Um, <clears throat> and that's why we came out to the court late to warm up, because I had to make an adjustment, and I just really appreciate the, the girls for trusting me and giving me a chance to execute the game plan as much as possible. What caused you to make that adjustment? Uh, well, we, what we wanted to do, we, we felt like they, I mean, everybody knows that they're not good perimeter shooters. They don't have a lot of them, so we wanted to pack the paint. And uh, we tried to do it in our zone because our team has almost forced me to play zone the whole year. Like, I'm not a zone team. I play both man and zone. Um, that's what they're confident in and comfortable in. Uh, but we kept getting, we kept losing um, the Howard kid in the backside. So, I mean, she had 21 points, but she really had to earn them, you know. And uh, we kept losing her. And I just, it didn't sit well. And so at pregame, I just said, listen, guys, I'm going to change the defense. I need you guys to come early and uh, let us talk about it. And I thought that it gave us a chance, and I thought for the most part it did. You felt some, you know, obviously you were able to kind of neutralize McCallum in the second yeah. half, two points, two boards, after she kind of had a big second yeah. quarter. Yeah. Was that part of the adjustments as well? I mean, what'd you yeah, see? I mean, first of all, she is a phenomenal player. I mean, I don't know that there's any anybody more dominant than her in the league, that's for certain. Uh, so for us to do that is definitely something that we're proud of. And so what we wanted to do was keep her uh, from deep ceiling uh, because once she gets two feet in the paint, it's almost hard to stop her. And that's another reason, Parrish, I went with the man because when you're in zone, the way we play our zone, we can't lock in on her as much as we want. So I decided to go with our man defense so that it will give us an opportunity to always have a body on her. 